What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about the Final Fantasy VII Remake because some new rumors have surfaced this week that maybe some years of work may have been deleted. Now this is absolutely mind-blowing to me because it's a project that just seems so silent. We haven't gotten really any major updates in months. No gameplay, no screenshots, and not really even any in-depth interviews. And because of it, hardcore fans like me are extremely worried. If you remember, when this project first started, it was actually being worked on by CyberConnect2, a studio I am a big fan of. I have beaten all seven of the Dot .hack games they made. In fact, I have them in the background. I love them. It's some of my favorite weird action RPGs from the, late two, or the early 2000s. However, it's easy to see that those projects are a little bit dated. However, I was very optimistic to see a newer project being done by CyberConnect2, especially with such an interesting intellectual property like Final Fantasy VII. Now, another reason that I was excited about them doing it is because their previous games were all built into big trilogies or a big quadrilogy, which is what the Seven remake is supposed to be. They said that it would be three games, giving more room for the original story to kind of widen and breathe. However, as time went on, they started to, well, seem delayed. It seemed like something was the matter. And then news came out that they were actually being taken off the project and that all development was being moved internally. That means Square Enix themselves, for some reason, were clearly a little bit troubled by what CyberConnect2 was doing with Final Fantasy. Well, we finally have a little bit of some actual news as to what was going wrong. Dan Tsukasa is a developer who lives and works in Japan. He mostly works on indie projects, but he's also been known to kind of whisper about games that are being made overseas. Because, let's face it, inside the development community, everybody talks to each other. Game developers need to de-stress, and they like to try and talk to each other just to try and, you know, talk about their top secret projects. So Dan occasionally hears stuff that he's probably not supposed to. So when there was all this news coming out about different art directions for the Final Fantasy VII Remake, Dan started coming out with some very interesting and honestly very disturbing notes. One of them being the fact that there is initially four years of work, we thought. Four years of work has been done so far on the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Two years under Square Enix and two years with CyberConnect2. However, Dan claims that this isn't actually the case. He's saying that everything that CyberConnect2 was working on had to be deleted. That their work was unusable. That is the actual term that he chose to put in there. He's saying that whatever they're working on wasn't just behind schedule, it was flat out not working. Now, the reason this is just so freaking baffling to me is because I imagine that they were probably working on really core aspects of the game. Maybe some combat, some maps, character models, stuff that you need to establish early on. So the fact that all of that did not function is simply mind-blowing to me, especially as somebody who's a big fan of CyberConnect2. I can't imagine that what they were working on was so freaking destroyed that it had to be deleted. Now, the reason this is just doubly mind-blowing is because when you think about it, it could be that this is going to end up causing a humongous delay on the entire game. Now, if you're trying to work on a big school project, say you're researching the Civil War of America, well, if somebody else hands you their project that has two weeks worth of research on it, most likely you're not going to be able to salvage much of that. If you have only two weeks until the project's due, you're realistically going to have to start completely over. Now, everybody immediately jumped on Dan Tsukasa when he leaked this news. As soon as he started talking about it, he was really kind of just shouting it from the rooftops. He was mentioning it on his own personal website, his Twitter, and also all over Reddit. However, when people begin to question him to outsources, to specifically name the names of people who are saying this, he vanished. He deleted all of his social media and just went off into the wind. Now, this could mean that either A, he was lying for some reason, which is very possible, he could have just been lying to try and get attention or something, and he deleted it because he didn't like the backlash, 
Or option B is that Square Enix started to come after him. That these people started sending him a cease and desist saying, shut up about that leaked information or you could end up in Japanese court. And he decided to just completely remove all of his social media. Both of these are pretty disturbing. Now I just want to speculate here for a minute and talk about what I believe is the actual answer. I think what probably happened is that CyberConnect 2's project was pretty far along, that overall, I think they're a studio that's really good at working on projects at a quick pace. CyberConnect2 kind of specializes in coming up with some really bold ideas, really executing on them, and then outsourcing a lot of the work. Hiring smaller teams and freelance studios to make background assets, character models, or work on stuff like making sure a motorcycle's physics are balanced. They're very good at delegating work to get projects done extremely quick. That's how they're able to make an entire quadrilogy in four years. However, they do have a downside, which is that they sometimes seem to get messed up in their projects. They get lost while working on something. The final product gets a little bit blurry. That's why, occasionally, their games will have storylines that are a bit convoluted. So, maybe what happened originally is this new director for Final Fantasy VII came in and basically was sent by Square Enix to investigate just how far along the game was, and it just wasn't enough. For whatever reason, Square Enix was not happy with their current project, with how things were shaping up. So they decided to take that project and move it internally. Now, this is probably not a great sign, but I personally do not believe the rumors that it had to be deleted. That humongous chunks of the project were flat out trash. That's just hard for me to swallow, especially because Square Enix is actually pretty good about reusing assets, about trying to find stuff that's sort of working and restructuring it. I mean, for all the times people make fun of the fact that Final Fantasy XV took 10 years to make, they actually still kept a lot of the core pieces of it intact in some way. Yes, they changed the story from being about Final Fantasy XIII to being its only whole thing, but a lot of that original art and original ideas do still shine through. It's still about a prince teleporting around and going on a road trip. So, maybe it's the fact that something here is going down the middle. What could have happened is the fact that there was just too much far out vision here. The fact that maybe CyberConnect2 was already trying to plan on three games, four games, or five games, and Square Enix stepped in and said, look, you're dragging stuff out too much. You can't have an entire game just about the Sector 7 slums. People, even the most hardcore fans, are going to eventually get upset if this project turns into a 10 year freaking project. If every game is two or three years apart and it takes this long even to get part one, people may lose interest. With that being said, it is very possible that a lot of stuff is going to get set back. Even though CyberConnect put two years into this project, only a year of that may actually go into the final product. However, I don't necessarily think that this is a bad sign. I still hold a lot of hope that Final Fantasy VII is moving along at a steady pace. Currently, I understand why its process has slowed down though, because the developer of that is, or the director of that is also directing Kingdom Hearts 3, which is supposed to come out this year. Now, I was reading a thing about how Final Fantasy 7 is being worked on in one side of Japan and Final Fantasy and, and Kingdom Hearts 3 is on the other side of Japan. So the director is having to go back and forth all the time when he wants to try and work on a big piece of this game. So. I can understand why right now he's actually moved to live right next to the studio that's working on Kingdom Hearts 3. They need to get this shipped out. It's coming out in 2018. Final Fantasy VII Remake? That's still a long way off. I hope that we're going to get it in the next year or two, but we have to understand that this is not as much of a priority. Square Enix is pretty bad about getting stuff done on time, but when they realize it's close to the finish line, they really double down and try and get it out there as quickly as possible. So, it's probably a good sign that this is still happening. I'm still optimistic about the fact that they are making some sort of progress. And I feel like all the headlines that are saying Final Fantasy VII stuck in development hell is a little bit misleading. But these have just been my random thoughts. What do you think about it? 
Does this news and new statements by Dan Tsukasa actually worry you as to the overall quality of Final Fantasy VII? Let me know in the thoughts down below and tell me what you think the release date could be, because at this point, we all might as well guess because it could be two, three, or even five years from now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Oh man, I, I really wish that they just gave us at least a couple more screenshots of this game. The fact that we have no real actual vision as to what Final Fantasy VII is, that scares me more than anything. Oh, hi. I'm just working on the next video. If you want to see what it is, go ahead and click this button and you can subscribe. Also, if you click these video links, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. Now I'm just going to sit here for a minute and uh, wait for you to subscribe. Oh, I guess I could put on these giant glasses. I literally found these on a roller coaster.